Sup guys, welcome to my new series that I'm going to be doing. I noticed that you guys really, you know, the most viewed videos, which is not much, but whatever, are the Fallout 4 Companion AI, so I guess I will uh, continue to do something, um, you know, close to the Fallout 4. It's I really like that game. And one of my favorite things in that game is how well the, the inventory system is set up. So I'm going to um, basically create a new series where I'm going to try and replicate the Fallout 4 inventory system, so like they have the little tabs and you can sort out your items by list um, and you can, you know, there's a lot of types for the this uh, uh, for the, this project I'm not going to have as much type of objects because, you know, it's just um, to teach you how to achieve that but I'm going to make it really uh, procedural so it's really easy to add new types of things and, you know, more items so I'm just going to call this um, inventory uh, tutorial and I'm going to be using a uh, blueprint first person uh, template and I'm going to create the project and get back in uh, when it's loaded okay guys so my the problem my project just loaded um, the first thing that I'm going to start by doing on this uh, first episode I'm going to uh, set up um, our widget so I'm going to go into my content uh, and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it widgets widgets and I'm going to just create user interface widget blueprint and call it widget blueprint underscore inventory and for today's video I'm just gonna you know set up the the layout I'm not really not gonna really make the code yet I'm just gonna set up a basic layout so you guys can see what it's going to like uh, what what is going to look like in the end so I'm going to start by just dragging in a vertical box into this and you know there's on the fallout inventory you got like the pip boy and there's that old screen effect uh, you know with the um, you know you, you got a lot of effects on that that I'm not going to be doing so this is just going to be like a concept of how to you know, make, make the code to achieve that I'm going to leave the most of the looks of the widget to you because I'm not really of an artist myself and yeah I don't want to be losing that much time with it so you know it's not really important for you guys to learn so I'm going to make the anchor of the vertical box fill the entire screen and I'm going to reset the, the offsets to zero so it covers the entire screen and I'm just gonna you know for some I guess color behind it I'm just gonna wrap this up so right click on a vertical box wrap it with a border and uh, I'm gonna just change its color I'm just gonna make it I don't know I guess I'm gonna make it uh, like the peep boy I'm gonna make it green I don't, don't really know the kind of green that they use I mean it's more like a yellow I don't know uh, it's probably n not gonna look that good so no I'm just gonna use you know a color like this I guess it will be fine for the background and actually let me add a little bit of an alpha so you can see the background so I'm just adding a 0.5 to the alpha and the first thing I'm just gonna, you know, get up a, a, a simple text over here and I'm just gonna add a little padding to it so to the top, the uh, padding basically adds a little bit of, uh, you know, a space between the widgets so top and left I'm just gonna add 50 and I'm gonna call, just type inventory and I'm just gonna change its font because I don't really like this default font I'm gonna leave at 24 but I'm gonna change this into regular I guess okay that's cool but now we're gonna have to do uh, basically something else we are going to have to create I'm gonna have like a, a little horizontal box where you're gonna have all of the um, I guess the buttons are going to enable you to filter um, your inventory so I'm just gonna drag a horizontal box into here and also a spacer so we can get a little bit of space. I'm gonna make the space in between the text and the horizontal box. I'm gonna make it a Y of 50 as well. And this horizontal box, I am going to just add some left padding, 50 as well. And I guess a right padding, it's probably not gonna matter, but 50 as well. And what we want to have in there is going to be buttons. So uh, I'm just going to have, um, you know, three filters. So I'm gonna have a hole so you can like just show everything you have in your inventory I'm gonna have weapons and consumables so you know weapons is something that we you equip 
and you know it's always going to be on your inventory and the consumable uh, consumable is also is something that you're going to you know you use one time and it just you know gets removed from the inventory so i'm going to call this button underscore all or i guess i'm going to call it filter all and i'm just going to add some text to it and just put all over here and i'm just going to put a padding of 10 so we get some space in between and i guess i'm just going to put a couple of spaces in the button uh, so we can you know get a little bit more room to click so i guess that's fine i'm just gonna add one more space so it kind of equals out because you know we're gonna have a lot of room but so it doesn't really matter i'm gonna make the text inside the button um a little bit smaller so i'm gonna put this at 10 to 18 and i'm going to change the color of the text to i guess black so we can you know get a, a, a nice construct um so we can see it well you know everything the color of everything and the overall layout you can do whatever you want as long as you have these buttons later on so i'm just gonna control c and control v uh, this two times and I'm just gonna get uh, I guess two spacers in on this horizontal box and I'm just gonna move them over here and get this spacer and get it over here I can select both so you can edit both of them at the same time and on this time I'm gonna have an X of I guess 15 or 20 that's fine this is going to be our weapons I guess so weapons and consumables consumables so this is going to be um, the three buttons that we're going to need I could like center them out I guess oh that's not what I want there you go but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to leave them tight to the left. Uh, because, it, you know, it's a little bit more organized. And now we're actually going to add something that is called a scroll box. And the scroll box is basically if you, you're going to have your disk space to fill out objects. But if you get a lot of objects and you go beyond the screen, you're going to have a little bit of a scroll box that you can use to obviously scroll and see everything you have. So I'm just going to do, an, again, I'm going to add some padding to this so it's not stuck uh, to the borders of the screen like that. Also on the right. Um, and I'm going to add the spacer again. And I'm going to add that between this scroll box over here. I guess I will just add it to the vertical box and just make it up here. There you go. And the white I'm gonna make that 50 and so this is where you're gonna get all your items and I'm just going to rename the buttons because I forgot so the second button is for the weapons and the third button is button underscore filter consumables I'm just gonna leave it like that and we can also have to rename the scroll box so I'm gonna have this items container and I'm going to check this little checkbox here uh, to make this a variable so it will appear over here on our graph as you can see so we have our three buttons and our items container and I guess that's it for how it's going to look uh, I can actually uh, just go quickly uh, into our blueprints uh, and get our first person character and now uh, legit, this is the default stuff that comes up with uh, the game or I guess this template and then I'm just going to create a new custom event and I'm just gonna call this toggle env uh, I don't do not need to replicate it's in, I'm gonna make this for single player and later on I may show you how to make it multiplayer is not really that difficult uh, but I'm just gonna to toggle it I'm going to do a flip-flop a flip-flop basically every time you run this event it's going to flip between a and b a and b so the first time i'm going to create this widget and i'm just going to select my inventory over here 
and uh, I guess downing player you can just get your player controller I'm just going to right click over here and promote this to a variable so I have uh, an instance do it on my player character so inventory and now we're just going to add this to the viewport and I'm going to get the player controller and I'm going to drag two things first of all I want to see my mouse cursor so I'm going to set show mouse cursor to true and I also want to set this set my input to be game and UI the reason that I do this is so we can have our mouse focus on the widget uh, so we don't have like to click inside the widget to actually activate it it's a little bit uh, it seems like a bug but don't worry about it just do this uh, get the widget inventory and put it in the widget to focus and that should be fine now if you want to destroy or I the invent the um, yes the inventory I'm going to drag the inventory from over here I'm going to call remove from parent and then I'm just going to get this and paste over here I'm going to eye the cursor and I'm going to set the input mode to game only there you go and now we just have to find a way to uh, you know toggle this so I'm just gonna get a key that you know is normally used so I'm just gonna get the E on my keyboard keyboard there you go search for your keyboard E so when you press you are going to toggle your inventory now we can just see that happening so I'm going to play here oh, let me just make this bigger for you so new editor window uh, be careful with this oh you're not gonna hear it because I removed the capturing the sound coming from my speakers so now you can move around and test this now if I press E you can see that it shows your mouser and you can interact with your buttons now if you add items or anything it will appear over here we obviously have to set up the code for that but you can now toggle uh, seamlessly between closing and opening your inventory so I'm gonna leave it that for this video and the next one we're actually going to start by creating um, so our items we're gonna create a blueprint for our items and we're gonna find that you know a good way for us to be easy to create new items and make it procedural so it's really easy for designers to set up all of that stuff so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any doubts or maybe any ideas uh, for the inventory, you can let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.